set theory comparing sets. In this presentation, we will discuss the following topics. Equal and equivalent sets, subsets and proper subsets. We'll do a little introduction to Venn diagrams. We'll determine the number of subsets of a given set, and we'll list all the subsets. And we'll distinguish between is an element of and is a subset of. What does it mean for sets to be equal? Two sets, A and B, are equal if they have exactly the same members, if they contain exactly the same elements. In this case, we write A equals B. If A and B are not equal, we write A is not equal to B. Let's determine which pairs of sets are equal. We have the set that contains ABC and the set that contains BCA. These two sets contain exactly the same elements. These two sets are equal. We have the set containing the elements red, white, blue. And we have the set of all C, such that C is a color on the United States flag. Well, the colors on the United States flag are red, white, blue. So these two sets contain exactly the same elements. These two sets are equal. The next pair of sets are not equal because they do not contain exactly the same elements. The second set has extra elements of C and D in it. So these two sets are not equal. And the last pair of sets, X, Y, Z, and 1, 2, 3, are also not equal because they do not contain exactly the same elements. Two sets, A and B, are equivalent if the cardinal number for set A equals the cardinal number for set B. In other words, sets A and B are equivalent if they have the same number of elements. So we're going to look at a couple of pairs of sets and determine if they are equivalent or not. We have the set containing ABC and the set containing 1, 2, 3. Both sets have three elements. These sets are equivalent. We have the set containing the elements red, white, blue, and the set of all C, such that C is a color on the United States flag. Well, there are three colors on the United States flag, and there are three elements or members of this set, so these two sets are equivalent. And the last example is a set that has A, B in it, and the set that has A, B, C, D in it. The cardinal number for the first set is 2. The cardinal number for the second set is 4. These two sets do not have the same number of elements. They are not equivalent. What is a subset? The set A is a subset of the set B if every element of A is also an element of B. The notation for subset is written A is a subset of B. If A is not a subset of B, we write A is not a subset of B. In order to show that A is a subset of B, we must show that every element of A is also an element of B. To show A is not a subset of B, we just need to find one element of A that's not in B. So we're going to fill in the blank with either is a subset of or is not a subset of. The first set that has the elements 1 and 2 in it is a subset of the set containing the elements 1, 2, 3, 4, because every element of the first set is an element of the second set. The set containing the elements x, y, z is not a subset of the set containing the elements x, y, because the first set has z in it, and that's not contained in the second set. The set dog, cat, bird is a subset of the set bird, cat, dog, because every element in the set containing dog, cat, bird is also an element in the set containing bird, cat, dog. The set AB is a subset of the set of all X, such that X is a letter in the alphabet, because A is a letter in the alphabet, and B is a letter in the alphabet. The last example here, we have the set of all X, such that X is a natural number. I'm going to list this in roster notation, 1, 2, 3, and the pattern continues. And the set of all X, such that X is a natural number, and X is even, so your even natural number is 2, 4, 6. And the pattern continues. The set of natural numbers, 1, 2, 3, and the pattern continues, is not a subset of a set of even natural numbers, 2, 4, 6, and the pattern continues, because look, 1 is not an element of this set. Here's a, a picture that represents the subset relationship. This picture is called a Venn diagram. The rectangle we have here stands for the universal set, are all elements under consideration. And notice we have set B, and contained inside of set B is set A. Every element of A is also in set B. 
A is a subset of set B. Now let's talk about proper subsets. For A to be a proper subset of B, A is a subset of B, but A is not allowed to be equal to B. The notation for proper subset is this symbol right here. For A to be a proper subset of B, every element of A must be an element of B, but the sets cannot be equal to each other. So we're going to fill in the blank now with either is a proper subset of or is not a proper subset of. The set that contains the elements 1, 2 is a proper subset of the set containing the elements 1, 2, 3 because every element in the first set is in the second set and the sets are not equal. The set containing the elements x, y is not a proper subset of the set containing the elements x, y because these sets are equal and to be a proper subset the sets are not allowed to be equal. The set containing dog, cat, bird is not a proper subset of the set containing cat, dog because bird is in the first set and it's not in the second set. Let's look at the set of all A such that A is a color on the US flag. Okay, that's red, white, blue. And we're trying to determine if this is a proper set, subset of the set containing red, yellow, blue, purple, green. Red is an element of the set. White is not an element of the set. So the set of colors on the United States flag is not a proper subset of the set containing red, yellow, blue, purple, and green. The last example is a set of natural numbers starting at and including 13 up to and including 17. I'm going to go to roster notation, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. And we're trying to figure out if this is a proper subset of the set of all natural numbers less than 20. X is a natural number and less than 20. So in roster notation, that's 1, 2, 3 and the pattern continues up to 19. What we need to figure out is, is every element in the first set contained in the second set and also are these sets not equal? If that's the case, the first set is a proper subset of the second set. 13 is an element of the set, so is 14, 15, 16, and 17. The sets are not equal, so the set of natural numbers starting at including 13 up to including 17 is a proper subset of the set of natural numbers less than 20. Now, just to make sure we have the idea of subsets and proper subsets straight, we're going to determine whether each of the following is true or false. A reminder, the symbol for subset and the symbol for proper subset. You can sort of think of subset as contained in or equal to and subset contained in but not equal to. The first statement, the set that contains the elements 1, 3, 5, 9 is a subset of the set containing the elements 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. That is a true statement because every element in the first set is an element or a member of the second set. The next statement is also true. The set containing the elements 1, 3, 5, 9 is a proper subset of the set containing the elements 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 because every element of the first set is an element of the second set and the sets are not equal. The next statement, the set containing the elements 1, 3, 5, 9 is a proper subset of the set containing the elements 1, 3, 5, 9. That's a false statement. We have trouble here because these sets are equal to each other and to be a proper subset, the sets cannot be equal. The next statement, the set containing the natural numbers 1 through 9 is a subset of the set containing the natural numbers 1 through 9. That's a true statement. Remember on subset, it's okay for the two sets to be equal. You can kind of think of this as or equal to. And the last statement, the set containing the elements 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 is a proper subset of the set containing the elements 1, 3, 5, 9. That's a false statement because we have some elements in the first set that are not elements of the second set. Now we need to talk about determining the number of subsets and listing all of the subsets. But first there's a fact that we just need to remember and keep straight. The empty set is a subset of all other sets. Recall the empty set can be written either as a zero with a slash through it or as a set with nothing in it. The empty set is a subset of every other set. Well, let's list the subsets. Let's look at set A. Set A contains the elements X and Y. Subsets of set A would be the empty set, the set that just has X in it, the set that just has Y in it, or entire set A, X, Y. Let's list the subsets of set B. Set B contains the elements 1, 2, 3. The subsets of set B would be the empty set, 
Or we could have a subset with just one element in it, just one, or just two, or just three. Or we could have two element subsets of set B, one and two, one and three, or two and three. Or the entire set B is a subset of itself, one, two, three. Now I want to make a couple of comments about sets A and B here. Set A has two elements. The cardinal number for set A is two. And set A has four subsets, three of which are proper. Set B has a cardinal number of three. Set B has three elements. And set B has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight subsets. And of those eight subsets, seven are proper. A set that has k elements has two to the k subsets. So here's a way to figure out how many subsets you have before you list them. Set A had two elements. Two to the second power, t times two is four subsets. Set B had three elements, two to the third power. Now that's not two times three. That's two times two times two, or two cubed. There would be eight subsets. So we have this question. If set C contains the elements A, B, C, D, E, F, how many subsets will we have, and how many of them will be proper? Well, the cardinal number for set C is there are one, two, three, four, five, six elements. So the number of subsets, we would have two to the sixth power. And if you take two and raise it to the sixth power, you'll see that that is 64 subsets. Thankfully, we don't have to list them all. If we did list all of the 64 subsets, we would see all but one are proper. In other words, there are 63 proper subsets. However many subsets you have, decrease that by one, and that's how many of the subsets would be proper. Let's make sure that we understand is an element of versus is a subset of. We're going to fill in the blank with true or false. The set one is indeed a subset of the set containing the elements one, two, three. That's a true statement. The next statement says one is a subset of the set containing the elements one, two, three. That's a false statement. The next statement is the set one is an element of the set containing the elements one, two, three. That's a false statement. And the last statement is one is an element of the set containing the elements one, two, three. And yes, one is indeed an element of this set. This is a true statement.